Jay Silver with Helicon, and we're out here today in Safety Harbor, where we're doing underpin on the perimeter of this home and on the interior. We've got a lot going on. Uh, the, the problem that the homeowner was having was just settlement, a lot of cracking to the block and the stucco. And uh, as we're digging in and setting brackets, and we're about to go around and show you a quick uh, site tour, the guys have encountered uh, clays, which are also contributing to the swelling and contracting and the cracking that's going on in the house. But all the underpins that we're installing are gonna uh, be the solution and uh, prevent that settling and cracking from happening in the future. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what we got going on. You can see we have a lot of, uh, a lot of equipment out in the front lawn area. We have a drill and pier system, push pier system. And uh, we'll come over here to take a look uh, what the guys are doing on some of the underpinning locations. Uh, so a lot of these are going around the perimeter of the home, but as you take a look here, you see some of this, this cracking in the block and the stucco, um, and that's also stair straps. Uh, a lot of common signs you may see that you, you, you have a problem around the windows and shelving, and you can see that cracking uh, is standing there. So we've We've set a bracket, um, and this pin was uh, driven to probably, Isaiah, how deep are these pins going? Um, I think 41 feet. About 40, 41 feet. Yeah. Um, Isaiah is one of our foremen on site, and uh, they're driving these down with a hydraulic ram down to 41 feet, and that's a load-bearing strata that's going to pick up and support this home uh, from these cracks occurring in the future. And uh, what we were talking about, the clay, Take a look at this. Take a look at this clay. Wow, look at that stuff. So this, this clay is the stuff that really, during drought, it'll contract, which will cause the, the cracks to open and settle. And then when it rains, the clay will swell up and then cause it to, to lift up. So you have this constant um, settling and lifting, settling and lifting that's occurring from these clay soils. But man, check out that stuff. Isn't that a beauty, this clay here? So they're, they're encountering clays, which is also contributing uh, to a lot of this cracking. Yeah, you can see one, one here that was, you know, they added some stucco onto the house to, to cover some things. Um, here, here's a, a point they've gotten it ready. You can see down at the, um, let me just jump down down here. Maybe you can get a better, better look. So you can see they've, they've chipped off the footer so that we can get a flush mount uh, right up against the foundation. So I wanted to give you a look at one of the locations that we're underpinning. We've given you a walk around the house. We're doing about 15 of these underpins around the perimeter. And uh, they're just using the large hydraulic ram to push down the pipe. They're going about 40 feet down to something load bearing. And once we hit load bearing strata, we're able to put the foundation and this location back on solid ground. So as I was mentioning, we're doing piers on the exterior of this home and on the interior. Wanted to uh, have you come take a look at some of the, the interior piers that we're installing. And uh, you know, notice here one of the signs of this crack that uh, extends down, vertical crack, down to the step. You can see the step is, is settled. Um, also a little bit of uh, settlement along the bottom of the wall and the floor here. They're getting a, a point ready in here digging out the dirt, getting that ready to install a pier in one of those locations. And uh, as we kind of come into the home, um, watch your step there, there's a, a few holes opened up. Just check out this, the flooring, how it's, it's settled and cracked. So it's almost the, the floor is, is settling this way and uh, these pins and brackets are gonna pick up and support and re-level sections of this, this flooring. Um, move this on back so we kind of cover that hole. And uh, the guys are going to be using a, a mud rotary wash drill rig. We install this, this bracket onto the slab because as it's, it's rotating to drill the pier in, um, this bracket keeps it uh, from shifting and from turning. So they're going to drill these piers down. Um, you know, on the outside, they're going about 40 feet. We expect these will possibly also be going around that same 
same ballpark in the 40 foot range. So we're gonna drill this on down to load bearing strata, uh, some that's gonna support. And uh, then we, we rotate in uh, one of these steel brackets. Um, here's an example of it. So this is the interior steel bracket. It'll slide down in the hole and then we'll turn it and rotate it so it can support. And then we'll uh, tighten down these nuts on the top plate and uh, then it's good to go. Some other signs that you, you notice there's settlement going on inside the house. Um, you can see up here, there's some, some cracking that's going on in the drywall over in this area. And, and a lot of this again is from those clay soils that contracting and swelling and expanding. Um, we got all this, this roped off, but you can also see some, some separation um, down on the, the baseboard. Um, kind of hard to see here. Uh, but you'll, another common sign, you'll see the floor separating from the baseboard is a sign that you have settlement uh, that needs to be addressed. Just again, staying real in tune with your home, doing a walk around, we recommend at least semi-annually, at the very minimum once a year. Um, if I were you, I like to walk around my ho home about every quarter uh, to kind of just see what's going on, if I can see anything new happening. So we have the guys uh, wheeling in the, the drill-in system. Um, they're going to take that and uh, that's going to slide onto this top plate and we're going to see them drilling in this interior point, uh, probably to about 40 foot range. So as you notice, Helicon has a lot of specialty equipment and tools and uh, this setup is, is one of those. It's our interior drilled in peering system. Um, when you're in a confined space, we don't have enough space to bring inside the drill rig. If we did, we would bring in the drill rig, but when we don't, we have this compact uh, drilled in system and you can see the guys uh, wheeled it in and then we, we um, jimmied it onto this, this top plate and they're gonna move this up out of the way and hook up uh, to the pinpoint and then we're going to drill this point in. This is all hydraulically driven, um, so they're bringing in the hydraulic hoses and uh, they're also gonna hook up uh, the water feed um, to this port right here, and that's where they're gonna uh, jet the, uh, the water down uh, through the system with a, uh, a mud rotary wash uh, mono pump. So most of the time we're doing underpins on the exterior of the home, um, but a lot of times the interior also needs underpins. And in this case, you can notice this is a very confined, compact space. So where we would bring our drill rig inside, typically to drill in uh, the interior piers, in this case, we're using our specialty compact drill-in equipment. So the bracket has been installed and we're at the very last step of the process. Carlos is gonna tighten these down with a, uh, a drill. He's tightening that with what, Carlos, about 2,000 pounds of pressure? Yeah, about 2,000 about 2, pounds of pressure. Once those lug nuts are tightened down, you can see now the bracket is it's solid in there and this area is back on solid ground. So after we've finished uh, the point located here, we've jumped over onto the next point and we're gonna repeat that process as we install all the points on the interior of the home. Um, same, same process. We're mud rotary wash drilling it into the, into the ground uh, to get past those hard clay uh, layers and advance the pipe down to something load bearing. Thank you for taking the time to tour our underpinning foundation repair site here in Safety Harbor. If you're noticing any of the signs that you've seen in this video and think you may have a soil problem and or foundation issue, click the link in the description to have us come out and do a free inspection and explore the best options to put you back on solid ground.